Hey babies. I'm sitting here doing a reading and I felt the need to share this reading with you guys because it's very powerful. It's a channeled energy, but I still pulled some cards. Some of you guys have, have ended a huge karmic cycle with a person. This is a karmic cycle that may have lasted since birth. This can be an entity on the other side. Also, it just could be a specific energy. But I feel like it's with a person that you have may have felt victimized by or carried a sense of resentment towards. I have here the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords and one is a karmic cycle as far as finances that has been closed, but you are finally in the vibration of whatever you're trying to grow. Then we have the relationship, the communication between you and three other beings, one of which was the prevalent relationship that may have lasted your whole life. The other may be a friendship. The other one may be a lover. However it went, you've cleared a karmic cycle with these people. and you've been victorious in the way you've handled it. It's because you've healed certain things. As far as forgiveness and working through the whys and, I mean, I don't even think you really care what the whys are, but you've worked through it on your own. No one helps you with that. We have the world card. So go into 2024, ready to leave. Look at that. Death, King of Swords, <laughs> Two of Cups, and then the Ace of Cups. We have another Ace of Cups with the Ten of Cups, the Magician. The Two of Wands, they wanna talk about love too, but we'll get into love in a minute. This is about your growth and the ending of this heavy karmic cycle and knowing that it's a true ending and you can truly build the life that you want and they don't want you to bring any fear, any hesitation into your new life because you've worked for this, you deserve it. Go into it free with abundance and prosperity on your mind. That's how you need to go into this next chapter. And just expect it. Even if you're not living the way you wanna live, speak as if you are, because it's important at this point. Now you have this person that loves you. There's a person that's definitely in love with you. It's a king of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising. Or it could be anybody. We have the hermit here. We have the magician. Virgo, Aries. Taurus. It can be anybody. What I am seeing is that there's somebody that's really in love with you and they are aligned with you now. So you have a person who is aligned with you. 
and they are ready to offer you love. So this is a cup of love. You have a, a lot of new things coming your way in the next couple of weeks. These are all gifts from the universe. You have a gift of money coming in, finances, prosperity and abundance. A gift of victory. You've already had said victory. You'll start seeing it or feeling it as of today. And the gift of love. There is new love coming towards you. Now you can take it or leave it. It may come from a person that you don't want and you want to send it back. That's very understandable. I feel like this isn't a person that you don't want. I feel like this is a person that you took a break from. That you haven't been in communication with. Y'all were not in alignment. And now the universe is bringing y'all to face to face and in alignment. And y'all will have communication. Y'all will sit down and talk about and honestly talk about your experiences with each other and how to move forward because it's genuine love here. And you both have the same compassion and love for each other. So it's not one sided. And also, you both want true love. You both want something that is everlasting. And the universe has purposely aligned you guys together to have that. But you had to get through whatever experiences you had to get through to cleanse. Because this is, this is a journey. The hermit is on a journey, or well, was on a journey. Now he's mature and ready for true love. And that is where you are. You're in alignment for that. Ready for true love. Or at least someone that is in the same thought process of you as it comes to love and romance and how you treat people, how you come to a relationship, giving and receiving. Yeah. A lot of divine intervention happening here. I would say if any of you guys have done magic or is trying to do magic to bring a person back, don't do that. Don't taint your relationship. Don't bring in a sense of karma or resentment into your relationship. Leave it where because it's with the love spell, the person is not going to be sincere from their actions. And you want that. You want that person to be sincere. Okay? The tip of my nose is itching so much. Um, so, yeah. That is what I'm seeing, guys. I just see love and a person coming towards you. You won't have to go towards them. I would suggest you continue in whatever energy you operate in. If that's feminine energy, continue to receive and expect to receive. If it's the masculine energy, then you'll be the one coming out or going out to prove whatever you need to prove to this person. Okay, But no, guys, this, the karmic cycle of pain and suffering and you've ended something. It's like even generational curses is what I want to say. It's deeper than just you're not repeating a cycle you stopped a generational battle within your family bloodline that you have ended and your parents know it your grandparents know it that you're the one who ended all of that okay all right babes thank you and i'll see y'all in the next video